Did you ever think about how a computer works? As we know, computers are machines built with different materials. But how does it work? Does it have a memory similar to humans? And if not, and how does it store and process data? Well, just as we have a memory to remember things we see and do, a computer also uses memory to store and process data and instructions fed into it. Unlike humans, computer memory is very stable, precise and capable of processing complex details within a short time. In this video, we will explore in detail about computer memory and how data is stored. Since computers are electronics machines, it can only understand electricity that flows through it using two states. One state is, on, which is represented by 1, and off, which is represented by 0. Similarly, the binary language consists of two digits only. That is 0, and 1. These binary digits are called, bits. The computer memory is measured using bits. This also can be measured in bytes. A byte is a collection of 8 bits. This table shows the measuring units of computer storage in detail. There are two types of memory. Primary memory. And secondary memory. The primary memory consists of two types. The random access memory, known as RAM. And read-only memory, known as ROM. The data and instructions can be written onto and read from RAM. Therefore RAM is known as the read-write memory. When a computer is switched on, the operating system is loaded into RAM. When you start working on any application, it is loaded into RAM and we actually working on this copy. RAM is also called volatile memory. It means it will retain data as long as the electricity is available. ROM is on the other hand, a type of permanent memory. The computer memory in ROM is pre-recorded and it cannot be erased. The ROM is used to store a special program called the BIOS, Basic Input-Output System. The BIOS software in the ROM is used to load the operating system. Without ROM, we cannot load the operating system, and therefore, we cannot do any work on the computer. Let's look at the types of secondary memory. The secondary memory is also called auxiliary memory, external memory or backup memory. The primary memory has a limited storage capacity and, not capable of storing data permanently. This is the reason why you need to use a secondary memory or storage devices. The first example is the hard disk. The hard disk is a primary type of non-volatile memory used to store your data on a computer. It can store large amounts of data, and can reside inside the computer or additionally outside as well. The compact disk is another form of non-volatile memory once widely used. It is portable and cheaper. Digital versatile disk, or DVD is very similar to its look but it is capable of storing six times of data stored in a compact disk. In addition, a DVD can be single-sided or double-sided increasing the capacity further. The Blu-ray disk. The name Blu-ray is derived from the blue-violet laser that used to read and write data. The Blu-ray disk is capable of storing 25 gigabytes data, that is five times the DVD is supported. A flash drive is also generally called a pen drive, or a USB drive. This can be connected to the USB, the universal serial bus port of the computer. This is similar to a hard disk, but portable, and very smaller in size, and less expensive. A memory card is very smaller in size, and used to store data in various electronic devices such as digital cameras, smartphones, MP3 players, and many more. There were other obsolete popular secondary storage devices, such as floppy disks. The floppy disks were, once widely used in every computer. They were the first portable secondary memory that is commercially successful. They came in three different sizes, they are, 8 inch, 5 and 1 quarter inch, and 3 and a half inch floppy disks. That concludes this video. We hope this video helped you learn about the history of computer memory and memory types. If you wish to read more about computer memory, click the link below in the video description. Until we meet again, goodbye.